So today we're gonna to be doing something a little different, at least for this channel. Uh, this is something that quite a few of you have been asking me to do. Today we're gonna to be playing some old school NES games. And uh, this time we're gonna be using my son's uh, mini NES. Uh, I think we'll have time to play a couple of games. We're gonna start things off with Wrecking Crew because this is one that uh, we've been playing recently. So let's get started. So there's one thing that you should know right off the bat, and this is really important. Uh, that's that I'm terrible at video games, all video games. I'm really bad. Um, there's only one video game that I've ever beat, and you're gonna love this. That was Where's Waldo? And you could probably imagine why, oops. You could probably imagine why I was able to beat that game. It wasn't too hard. Um, probably a couple of reasons why I'm so bad at video games. One, I, I was what you might call an outside kid. I was always, oh my gosh. I was always either uh, in the pool or on my skateboard um, or just running around with my friends outside. Uh, so video games were something that we would do like, yes. Uh, video games are something that we would do when it was raining or uh, you know, uh, when we would come inside after playing. Uh, so yeah, I think that's one of the reasons. Probably the other reason and probably the, the real reason why I never got too good at video games is I have no patience, like zero patience. Uh, so when I was a kid, I would play a video game and then I would die. Yes. And then I would try again and then I would die and then I would just get frustrated and throw the remote and go do something else. So. I never really put any effort into getting better at games. Um, you know, and like I said, I did, you know, we had when, when I was really little, we had an Atari and then we got a Nintendo and I did play it and I played arcade games every once in a while. Um, but I just, I wasn't one of those kids that spent like hours at the arcade or hours playing my Nintendo. Um, so yeah, so I'm not sure how much fun. Oh no! And <sighs> so that was only level three. I shouldn't have died already. So basically what happened there is this is a level where you have to uh, go down in a certain way or else you will lose. But the fireball came along and caused me to jump off and then there was nothing I could do. Moving on to level five, I've only lost one guy. Not too bad. This is the bonus stage. So uh, this introduces Spike, that's Spike. He is your foreman and he's a total jerk. Uh, did I get it? Oh my gosh, I got it on the first try. I hardly ever get the coin. Uh, so anyways, the point of the, uh, the bonus stage is they drop that coin behind one of the walls and you have to try and get it before Spike does. And like I said, I hardly ever get it. I can't believe. Okay, so this is a relatively easy level if you do it correctly. And there. So you've got the wrenches, you've got uh, these guys. Um, I think they have a name. We, I think we used to call them eggplant people, which I don't know if that's the real name or not. It's probably not. Uh, then you've got Spike who um, just, he tries to knock you down and stop you. And then there's the fireball, level 10. Maybe we'll make it all the way to the end. I think there's uh, there's a hundred levels. Oh, this one, this one is tricky, I remember. There's a certain order you have to go. So one of the things that I really, oh, okay, that was stupid. So one of the things that I really like about Wrecking Crew is um, on a lot of other video games, as you know, uh, when you die, you can, uh, a lot of them you can hit continue. But then there's some where when you die, that's it. You got to start over at the beginning, which is nothing more frustrating, especially when you have made a lot of progress and then all of a sudden you die and um, you got to start at the beginning. Super frustrating. So I don't even know what just happened. Uh, I was doing really well. I was on level 10 and then there was some kind of a glitch and the game just like stopped and started at the beginning. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's the system, the game. I don't know. Um, 
I'm just gonna move forward and we're gonna play another game. So that was extremely frustrating. So I thought what better way to relax than with a game of Ghosts and Goblins because we all know how relaxing this game is. Um, if you've never played this game, uh, it's pretty simple. You're having a picnic in the cemetery with your girlfriend and then Satan comes along and kidnaps her. So now you have to get her back. Maybe you shouldn't be having picnics in cemeteries. Um, this game is, for some reason, one of my favorites, and I don't know why, because I'm not good at it at all. I can barely get uh, anywhere. It's extremely hard. I could be wrong about this, but I think a lot of people consider this to be like one of the hardest games. Um, I know I do, because uh, there's just so much coming at you all at once. Um, I'm doing okay so far. I'm actually almost to the devil. Of course, that's not the end of the game. Okay, here we are. I made it to the devil in one shot. And I can't believe I actually beat him. Doing pretty good today. Oh no, okay. And, and all right. Okay. And you know, I always thought that thing right there that I just killed, you'll see another one here in a second. I always thought it was a snake, like a cobra. Uh, I don't, either my wife or son, someone, I was just playing this recently and they were like, what are you talking about? That's a flower or a plant. And, uh, okay, I died. And I think they're right. You know, with uh, old school graphics, uh, sometimes we had to just guess on what things were, you couldn't tell. Uh, but yeah, I think they're right. I think it might be a flower. Ah! I don't know why I thought I could outrun him. All right, since that was so quick, let's do one more. One more quick, uh, one more try of Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, why are these zombies so quick? Have they never seen Night of the Living Dead? You're not supposed to move that fast. So that's not good. Uh, I already got knocked into my underwear. So the odds are I am not going to beat Satan. Have you ever tried to beat Satan in your underwear? It's not easy, like I said probably not going to be able to beat him. All right, Kung Fu, another one of my favorites because it's relatively easy, uh, but still fun. Uh, the uh, If you've never played this, it's similar to a lot of other games. Uh, they have kidnapped your girlfriend and now you have to go through different levels and try and get her back. Uh, there's a boss at the end of each level that you have to beat. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Yet another game that I've never beat, and I'm sure if I just put a little bit of time into it, I could beat it. But like I said, I just get frustrated. I have no patience. Uh, so you can do high kicks and you can do low kicks. As you see, I mostly I mostly just stick to the high kicks, but I'll do some low kicks there. Uh, you can also do punches, but I don't really do very many punches. Um, oh my God. Okay, this is our first uh, boss. Oh, I was doing so good. Okay, I beat him anyways. Oh no! That would have been really bad. Now things get a lot harder on level two. Like, it, it's, it's, it's a really big, uh, a really big jump. Oh my God. As you can see, there's all of these things that fall from the sky and uh, they're really hard to avoid, at least for me. Um, that one just explodes. There's the snake. Oh my gosh. And this is also the introduction of those little guys. I don't know if you just saw those, um, those, those little dudes, um, which can be a real pain. You have, to, you have to kick low or punch low in order to get them. Oh my gosh, I'm already at the end. I knew it wasn't gonna happen. I got one more try? All right, one more try. 
I can do this. I believe in myself. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful here in the beginning. Oh, ah, I was doing so good too. I didn't see that snake because I was paying attention to the guys that were coming at me. Come on, I beat him. No. <sighs> that, <laughs> I got so tense right there at the end. Okay, a game like this should not be so tense. All right, we're moving on to level three, uh, which I have beat before. Oh, here is your girlfriend, Sylvia. You have to save her from Mr. X. Uh, anyways, I have beat level three before. I highly doubt I will beat it today. I, I have, uh, this is my last life. And if I, be if I remember correctly, it's on this level that those little guys uh, get a lot crazier. They start doing flips and jumping off of your head. But here's the really funny thing about this game is the guys that are trying to kill you, they never punch you or kick you or hit you. They just uh, grab onto you and hug you and don't let go and suck the life out of you. Really strange. Oh my gosh. As you can see, it gets more intense, more guys, uh, more guys all at once. I would like to at least to get to the boss so that I can show you what he looks like. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was like right there too. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, let me know if you liked this video. Uh, if you did, we'll do it again. Uh, if there is a video game that you would like to see me play, let me know in the comments if I have it and if it's a video game that I enjoy, then maybe I'll play it. I wanted to play Paperboy today. We didn't get to it. So I think next time we'll play Paperboy and then a couple of others that I'll, I'll decide later. Uh, so yeah, that's it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.